In Genesis chapters 1 and 2, we are told that God created the heavens and the earth, all that we can see, all that we cannot see, and all living things. And after he created each of those things, he said that it was either good or very good. In fact, seven times in a row we are told that what he created was good. The master designer was pleased. But then we are told that something was not good. God said that it was not good that the man should be alone. And so in Genesis chapter 2, we are introduced to marriage. We are introduced to marriage. I wanted to tell you that I promise to make you happy, to make you laugh, and to always be there for you. I promise to be there to catch you if you stumble, carry you over every obstacle, and love you more every day. I promise to listen, to hear, to always consider your feelings and thoughts as we travel together on this journey. You are the first person I want to see in the morning and the last before we go to sleep. I give you the best of me, my heart, and my soul forever. I take you to be my husband, my forever partner in crime, my traveling companion, and my best friend. I promise to support you in all you do and to love you with everything that I have. I promise to love you when life is easy and more fiercely when life is tough. Um, I love that you make me feel appreciated, supported, and very loved. And then I love that you believe in me and build me up when I feel down, and I promise to always do the same for you. <laughs> Adriana, I choose you to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. With the rings given and the vows stated, Chase and Adriana, you are now married according to the state of Washington, and in the eyes of God, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> When she finally started dating Chase, I knew it was serious. Chase, you showed me that you knew her value with your persistence and by, in the words of Beyonce, putting a ring on it. <laughs> uh, Adriana, <laughs> when I think of a sister, I think of loyalty, honesty, forgiveness, love, and someone you can share your last and cries with. These are all qualities that you've shown me many times over the years. Chase, I cherish that your wife has all of these qualities. Here's to you 
May you love each other more every day you spend together. Cheers to the newlyweds. You'll always have a hardworking man by your side, Adriana. And I can't say a nicer thing about this guy. I'm getting a little choked up right now. You are the luckiest man to have her deal with all the shenanigans that I just brought up. So I'm going to end that here with Chase being my best friend, Adriana. You are now my best friend's wife. And I want to have everybody grab their glass and cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Pepper. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you each and every day. It's never going to bed angry. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other a safe place to grow. And it is not only marrying the right person, but is being the right partner for each other. So raise your glass and cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Pepper.